I'm George III, but some of you may know me by my science superhero name, Super Snapper. And that's because I'm a scientist who studies Snapper. Like many of you, I've had to do my science from home during lockdown, and I'm here to show you some of the fun things that I found inside my Snapper stomachs. I bet you know what these things are. They're shells. Inside, there can be one of two things, because I don't think it's the shells that the Snapper really wanted to eat. There might be a marine snail, which will look like the slimy globby thing on the inside. Or, if you see two long eye stalks and some claws, probably a hermit crab. Hermit crabs live in shells to protect them from predators. Just like us, when our feet grow and we need bigger shoes, hermit crabs need to find bigger shells that they can fit inside. I need to have my gloves on for this one. This is another type of crab. Crabs are Snapper's favourite thing to eat. Snapper have big grinding teeth at the back of their mouth, like our molars, which they use to crush through the crab's shell. You can see here that the Snapper have crushed most of the legs off this crab. There's only one leg left. And part of the carapace, which is its main body shell, is also broken. Large Snapper will also eat other fish. I have a fish here. Let's pull it out and have a look. It can be hard to tell exactly what species of fish it is after it's been in the snapper stomach for a while. This is because the digestive enzymes in the stomach have partially broken this fish up. But we can see here it's got an eye, its mouth, and a long slender body. Snapper that eat lots of fish need to have sharp teeth to grab a hold of this fish with and pull it into their mouths. What do you think this is? You might know it as a worm, but I call it a polychaete worm. Poly means many and keet means feet, which means this is a worm with many feet. If you look closely, you might be able to see some of the little feet on this worm, or I have a microscope picture that I took so you can see them up nice and close. Polychaete worms live in the seabed and I think Snapper swim along, sucking them up like spaghetti out of a bowl. Polychaete worms are a good thing to eat for Snapper that don't have very sharp teeth, because these soft worms don't need much chewing. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about what Snapper like to eat.